hello friends in this video i am going to find the solution of simultaneous linear equations by using cramer's rules so in one of my video i have used gauss elimination method to find the solution of simultaneous linear equations even i have used gauss jordan method to find the solution of simultaneous linear equation so now i am going to use cramer's rule solution of solution of system of linear equations by cramer's rule so first we will see the method then we will go for the example so for that let us consider system of it uh, three linear equations that is a1 of x plus b1 of y plus c1 of z is equal to d1 a2 of x plus b2 of y plus c2 of z is equal to d2 a3 of x plus b3 of y plus c3 of z is equal to d3 so i will write d indicates determinant so d indicates here coefficient of x y z x y z x y z so a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 and a3 b3 c3 so now i will write d1 so d d1 i am using to find the value of x for that i will replace the first this column by this d1 d2 d3 so i can say here so i will replace a2 a1 a2 a3 by d1 d2 the d1 d1 t2 the d3 so i will write remaining two columns as it is that is b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 so then to find the value of y i am using t2 so for that i will replace the middle column by d1 d2 t3 so and i will write remaining two columns as it is a1 a2 a3 here c1 c2 c3 i am replacing the middle column by d1 d2 d3 so lastly to find the value of z i am using d3 here for that so i will replace the last column by d1 d2 d3 so it becomes a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 p3 so i here t1 d2 d3 so these are d d1 d2 and d2 determinants now to find value of x the formula is like this d1 upon d y is equal to d2 upon d and z is equal to d3 upon d so this is the method by using this method i am going to solve one example we'll take one problem here solve the following system of equations solve the following system of linear equations by using 
grammar school. By using grammar school. So equations are like this for u x minus seven y plus z is equal to eleven. Six x minus eight into y minus z is equal to fifteen. Three x plus two y minus six z is equal to seven. Solution. So given equations are here. Given equations are for u x minus seven y plus z is equal to eleven. Six x minus eight into y minus z is equal to fifteen. Three x plus eight two into y minus six z. Is equal to seven. So as per the theory, so first I will write determinant D. So that is coefficient of x in all the equation y i j. So it become for u minus seven one six. Minus eight minus one three two minus six. So now I will simplify this one. For you into forty eight plus two. In formula we have minus. So this is minus seven minus seven. I will leave first row middle column minus thirty six. Six into minus thirty six plus three plus one into six into two twelve plus twenty four, which is equal to fifty for you. So one thing you should we should remember this d is not equal to zero. That is non zero because if d becomes zero, then the values of x, y, and z becomes infinity. Now I will go for d1. So for d1, I will replace the column x by column matrix. This b, l1, 15, 7. So this is l1, 15, 7. I will write as it is. So I will remaining two columns as it is minus 7, minus 8, 2, 1, minus 1, minus Six. Now I will simplify this one. So this equal to L one into forty eight plus two. Again minus into minus plus seven into minus ninety plus six plus one into thirty. Plus fifty six. So if I solve, simplify this one, so I will get here fifty for you. Similarly, I will find D two. So D two is here. So to find D two, I will eliminate middle column. I will put put L one fifty nine seven. So it become for you six three L one. Fifteen, seven, so one minus one minus six. So again, I will simplify this one. For you into minus thirty ninety plus seven minus L one into minus thirty six plus three plus one into Forty-two minus forty-five. So this equal to I will get after calculating minus fifty-five. So at the end I will go for D three. So 
so for d3 i will remove the third column by l in 59 7 so i will get here for u 6 7 for u 6 7 minus 7 minus 8 2 so l1 59 7 i have re re replaced the third column so now again i will simplify this one for u into minus 56 plus 30 sorry minus 56 minus 30 this is minus minus plus 7 into 42 minus 105 42 so here I have done small mistakes actually this is 3 45 minus 42 minus 45 15 to 3 plus 11 into 40 sorry 12 16 to 12 plus 24 so again I will get this as what minus 50 for you so these are d d1 d2 d3 so now we will go for the value of x that is d1 upon d so here d1 is 50 for you upon 50 for you i will get value of x is 1 that is x is equal to 1 so y is equal to d2 upon d that d2 is minus 50 for you upon 50 for you i will get y is equal to minus 1 so lastly z is equal to d3 upon d so again d3 is minus 50 for you upon minus 50 for you upon 50 for you i will get z is equal to minus 1 so these are the values of x y z so even you can cross verify these values by putting these values in the given equation